Hi guys, welcome back. It's Marsha with Buy Sell Plan and I'm so excited. Today is the day, you guys, I am going to be setting up my Franklin Covey Compact and I feel like I'm gonna have planner peace with this little one. Um, as you know, if, you, if you've been following me for a while, I, I don't know, was it a year ago, maybe longer, where I started collecting compact size for an everyday carry, but it just, hasn't been working as far as being super functional so I still found myself bringing my classic and the issue with this is it is heavy I've I would argue this probably weighs five pounds and which means I need a bigger bag etc etc so I'm just I'm I've been so determined to find a way to make this this work and hey planner girl and paper test designs came out with a collab and I thought, that is it. That is it. So I purchased the bundle, printed everything out over the last couple of days. And I'm so excited to get this set up. So I thought I would film it and share it with you guys. Um, since you've been along with me, this whole Franklin Covey compact journey. And I keep saying, stay tuned, because I'm going to figure this out. And I, I feel like I have. So I'm really excited. Um, okay. So the, the collab is um, called the Home Management. I think that's what it's called. Let me just take a quick look. Um, what is it called? Home Management. Um, oh gosh, I'm so sorry, you guys. Hang on one second here, here we go. Yeah, the Home Management Planner, basically. It's a bundle and I figured, you know what, my classic is all business essentially and there's personal in there too. I, I schedule my personal life, I've got personal projects as well as business and all of that but this is pretty much strictly going to be personal and um, yeah, so let's get started. So I'm going to take everything out. Now I have ordered the new Tanya Plans binders, the Victoria binders. So I got the compact in black and the classic in pink. So stay tuned for that. I'll be moving everything over when I get that. I just, I was going to wait and I thought I, I can't wait. I'm going on vacation and I'm going to need my, um, my planner with me and set up. So for now, I'm going to stay in the, my uh, pale pink Anna binder. And I'm just going to put everything in and then I will do a flip and walk you through everything. So I'll speed this part up. I'm going to put everything in here and then I'll be back. Okay, here we are. So this is the cover page. And what I like about Hey Planner Girl is that um, first of all, I should explain Paper Test Designs and Hey Planner Girl. They're printable shops. And so what I love about Hey Planner Girl is that they're fillable. So she makes some gorgeous inserts that are fillable where you can put your own um, information in there. So with this one here, um, it just said residence. And then you're able to put whatever you want on the top. So I put the Grove Residence because that's our last name. And it has these really pretty floral details. Hope you can see that. So down here says Paper Test Designs and uh, Hey Planner Girl. So the Grove Residence, here's the table of contents. I mean, look at these images. They're just so gorgeous. So again, fillable. So I was able to um, title these and put the categories in each section um, in there. So I love that she does that so that you can customize it to suit you. And then here are what the dashboards are supposed to look like. So see how this says home life and it has this beautiful image. Well, when I printed it out, they weren't printing for me. So this is, this is that dashboard there. So I'm, it's, it's missing the image. So I'm currently in conversation back and forth with Yarny from Hey Planner Girl. She's trying to help me troubleshoot that. But for now, I was like, you know what? I printed them on cardstock. They're still pretty and I didn't want to wait until I got the ones with the images. So I still have it set up and, um, 
and I do like how it layers with the dashboards. So what's really cool is when you are setting up your dashboards and labeling them, it automatically changes the titles on your dashboards. So I thought that was really cool. And the sections that I have, um, it comes from here. So I thought that was really neat. Um, so there's six sections. So the first one is home life. So in this section, it's going to be contacts, emergency information, doctor and family info for the family. And then the second tab is all about me. It's going to be medical, my medical information, medications, health logs, doctors, notes, doctors visits, things like that. Okay. And then the third one is home maintenance. This will be insurance information, home and vehicle maintenance logs, projects and finances. And number four is all about my home. And so this is like cleaning, meal planning, cooking, shopping lists, etc. And then the next one will be schedule. So this will be monthly, weekly, family scheduling and future planning. And of course, I will have my week at a glance so that I know what I have going on as well as my family um, while I'm on the go. And then the last one is just notes. This is a spot for brain dumps, goals and ideas on the go for both business and personal. So I just have a place to write that down. Um, so yeah, so those are the six sections. So therefore it has six dashboards. So this is the first one here. Um, so it says volume number, although there's no number there, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so this is home and family, which I printed on vellum. And then this one here, once I do figure it out with the images, I'll, I'll show you what that looks like, but it's still beautiful. Okay. And then here's contact. So one thing I realized, so both my kids are adults. My son is 20, my daughter's 24. And I realize, you know, if something were to happen to them while they're out of the house, I have no way of getting in touch with their friends. Um, you know, who, I mean, sure, I could probably go to social media and try and find them. But I, I figure this is a good place to put um, their friends' information in case I need to reach them. Um yeah, and and other other contacts that is relevant to family life. So I've got a couple of those passwords. Not really sure what because I have my passwords for business um, in a separate place. So um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, Ryan and I will figure out what what this will be good for. And then we have emergency information, so emergency contact information. So there's two spots there, and then my kids' information. So I only printed out one of those because I found I only really needed one. And then um, family doctor, and then uh, we don't do. This is very U.S. So I'm in Canada here. So as far as insurance, we don't do that here. We have something called OHIP, Ontario Health Insurance Plan, I think. Um, so yeah, I don't really need to write anything there, but that's okay. So, but then there's house information, first aid kit, breaker panel, fire extinguisher, things like that. Um, so those are good things to track. And then family notes. So I just printed just a couple of those for now. See how I use those. Personal information. Um, so I have one, um, for myself and one for my husband in here. So actually I probably should do them for my kids too. Now that I see them written on paper, or see them printed on paper, uh, insurance number, insurance provider. So some of these things, again, don't apply to us here in Canada, um, but like blood type, gender, date of birth, things like that. So I might, I didn't think I needed that one because of having kids information here. So this might be more for like if you have small children. Um, so anyways, I'll figure it out as I go, hopefully you're able to see this. Okay, and then on the back would be the medical information, allergies, prescriptions, previous surgeries or treatments, and then emergency contact info. So I figured these would be good to have. And then here's doctor's visits, so who the doctor was, the date, the reason for the visit, um, notes, if there was any medication prescribed, and then follow-up, next follow-up. So I like that, and then appointment log. So date, um, weekday time and then what the appointment was and then checking off if it happened and then family information so spouse important information kids information doctors information so if you do see more than one doctor who they are what their special specialty is and then their information 
and then the next is all about me so again printed that on vellum and we're missing the image but that's okay and then medication log I only take one prescribed medication and that's uh, for my thyroid um, however I do see a naturopath and anything that she gives me if there's certain instructions like for example take without food twice a day or this or that I figure this would be a good um, a good thing to track and because of my thyroid medication I can't take other certain medications within four hours of taking my thyroid um, medication so this I think this will be good to track um, those times it's not all the time but there are times where I have I'm taking like um, um, supplements like homeopathic remedies so yeah I thought that would be good to track health logs Health log here, symptoms, notes. These are a little bit shorter. I don't know what happened there. That's the hard thing with printables is getting them all to be exact. I will in time. I will get it in time. And then um, medication log. Is this the same one as here? It is too. So I just have that. That got mixed up. There we go. There's health logs together and then medication log together. So health log doctor's visits so I have one of these in here for me for my specific appointments appointment log for my appointments I do go to a lot of appointments chiropractor physiotherapy two different physiotherapists massage therapy naturopath things like that so I like to keep track oh I think this got mixed up doctors oh doctor's visits and then doctor's information hmm um, I think, no, I think that was the right order. Okay. And then next up, these are from SM Plans. I also, I went on her shop and I bought a lot of her inserts. I love her inserts. This is a reading log. Um, so you put the title of the book, who the author is, and then when I started it, when I completed it, and then rate it. And I love that idea. So I plan on reading a lot of books. So I printed out a lot of these. I'm currently on the second last... Bridgerton book and I wish that I did some sort of a log there's some that I've like binge read where they were so good and then there's others where I'm like why is it taking me so long to read this one right so now it's like I I don't know how, how many books are there nine books or something I don't remember which ones weren't 100% and which ones I absolutely loved so I wish that I was recording that as I went I do reread books just like I re-watch shows or movies. Um, so yeah, it's nice to keep track. So if I'm like, yeah, I'm feeling the itch to read, you know, that series again, then I, you know, have a heads up on which ones I really enjoyed and which ones I didn't. Anyways, uh, maintenance. So this is like household maintenance. So she gives you some pre-printed, this is the Hey Planner Girl and Paper Test Designs. Um, home maintenance guides like monthly, um, seasonal, like, like fall, winter, spring, summer. So these are just good. Um, the font is really small. I'm almost out of battery. I got to plug in here. The font is really small, but the, there you go. So they give you like, you know, reminders and checklists. So I like that. And then vehicle information. So that's important to have, especially because our son drives um, one of our vehicles more than we do. So it's important that we stay. I mean, Ryan is really good. Like I'm kind of out of the loop when it comes to the vehicles, but I do want to, um, you know, stay in the know. Vehicle maintenance log. I figure this is really important stuff to keep track of. Insurance information. That's important as well. Uh, inventory log. So this will be, you know, pantry inventory, um, fridge inventory, whatever. I have a couple of them in here, quite a few actually, because I need them for both the cottage and home. Because there's times where we will stop off at the grocery store on our way to the cottage and then we get there and we're like, oh, we already had that <laughs> because I'm not taking inventory. So need to do that. So I've got quite a few of those. For that reason then home maintenance log so date description cost notes got a few of those in there 
projects. Design the home you love. I love that with the cursive. And I just love how it's just so neutral. And even though that's, I don't know what color that is, but it's not black and white. I just I love that. Okay, so some project inserts there. And then these, these are SM plans, so online orders. I struggle with her inserts as far as I chose personal wide. And there was about this much. There was about that much that I, that I had to cut off the sheet like they're too big so I don't know what I'm doing wrong I gotta figure that out so that's why they're not really even but that's okay they'll do the job for now so ordered shop shipped and delivered and then I'm going to be doing some no spend trackers here so these are also SM plans I love these um, so again I've seen other people print these out and they have their 31 day circles here and then underneath is the expectations or exceptions, I'm sorry. So what are the exceptions to the rule of your no spend? And they have them down like, so I don't know. I don't know. I gotta play around and figure that out, but uh, I didn't have time to do that this time. So this will do for now. So I got a couple of those in there. I'm going to a planner conference in September. So I'm gonna wanna have some spending money. And um, so I'm gonna do for July. My intention is for the rest of the summer, wish me luck. Um, but definitely for July. So home base, this is all about the home. I don't know what happened that I have different color white. I felt like I used the same paper. Some of these I'm print printed at home. Some of them I printed at the office, but we use the same paper, so I don't know. But it doesn't bother me that much. So here is um, pantry and refrigerator essentials. It's a checklist by the food by the Food Network Kitchen. So I thought this was kind of cool to have on hand. So pantry, and then clean smarter cleaning tips from Jolie Kerr of the New York Times. And these are supposed to have images, um, but again, for some reasons, the images didn't print. So I'll replace these once I get them. And there's beautiful images that are supposed to be here. Looks like a magazine, um, but they didn't print. But for now, this will this will get me going. Just all stuff on cleaning smarter. I love that. So different areas like car, bathroom, bedroom, floors, kitchen, and so on. So that's good. And then schedule. Um, so this is from, hang on one sec, I'm going to plug in my phone. Okay, so this is from um, Paper Tess. This was her part of the club. Oh, you can still see my lines, <laughs> my pencil marks from where to cut. I guess I used the ones on the other side. But anyways, okay, so these were interesting. These have been taking me some time to figure out and I've um, gone to Instagram to ask people who are more familiar. And so what they say is the week goes here. So you put your, your date, like what week goes here um, cause there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So either we could be like Monday. So this could be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then you have your categories on the top. So let's say this was family, uh, could be work, you know, different categories. And then you write in the boxes for each day of the week, what needs your time or what you need to do. So I thought that was interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to giving this a try and figuring it out. And then you've got a list of to do's on the on the right hand side and maybe this could be sort of what's absolutely important for the whole for the rest of the or sorry for the whole the whole week so I only printed out one because when I first printed it I thought it was just I thought it was a month calendar um, so I'm gonna have to figure that out I have just one in here for now and then I have the SM plans week on one page so you've got Monday to Sunday Got some categories here for tasks, so it could be business and personal, or family and 
you know, work, whatever, and then just a, like a header on the bottom to write. And again, there was a whole bunch of, on the inserts, there was a whole bunch of lines for notes on the bottom, but I had to cut them off because they, otherwise, otherwise they'd be too big. I thought I would try these. I'm finding, like, I do love my week at a glance. Um, which are in here. I do love my week at a glance, but I'm thinking for my... Uh, for my compact, I feel like I only need, just so I know what my appointments are, like where do I have to be? Um, so I don't know that I need it as detailed in my compact. So I'm going to give these ones a try and see how I do. I did also print out the paper test designs weekly timed. weekly schedule um, so I'm gonna put these in there too and give and see what see what I like I like these because they give you like your top three on the top of each day and then you have your times it goes from 7 until 8 and Saturday and Sunday there's no times so I printed enough out for a month so I'll put these in here I just what I'm not liking I do prefer personal wide in my Franklin Covey compact. I like the writing space. The Franklin Covey size is quite narrow as you can see. So I'm, I'm not liking having the different sizes because I, I order things or print things out that are personal wide and then the Franklin um, Covey pre-printed inserts are more narrow. And so that's been bothering me, <laughs> um, which is why I am giving this a try. I just love how wide that is and I, I, yeah I'm just really loving the I love the writing space of the personal wide size um, so there we go so I have quite a few of these and then a month worth of the weekly so we'll see uh, and then my notes section is a lot of SM plans note paper with the florals they're so pretty so I did some half I, I purchased some half sheets I figured these would be good for like grocery lists on the go, right? And I'll, I'll cut slits in them so I can just tear them off. Um, this is just so easy to take with me in stores and grocery stores. I printed these ones too small. Oh well, what do you do? But look how beautiful these are. So I've got those and that is it for now. Now let's take a look at my... Okay, so I'm going to want to have my inbox so there's some things from my old system that I'm going to need to add in here um okay so I may need tabs too just so I can find everything um so projects are going to be in number three I believe it's just before So I gotta learn. I gotta learn where all of this is. That's me. And oh, it's here. Oh my gosh, already. I was already there. So what I'm gonna do for the first page is the inbox. And this is going to be like a master project list. And I'm gonna do my categories here on where the project is, like what the project's for, and I'm going to number them on the side, and then when I do my actual projects, I will put a number on here to correspond with what the project is. Um, so that's the idea. Maybe these should go right behind. So the Tanya Plans Binder, these are one inch rings. Her um, compact, the new one anyways, uh, is 1.2 inch rings. So I'm looking forward to a little bit more size. I do have a, a vintage Aurora compact by Franklin Planner, which are one and a half, are they one? No, one and a half? One and a half, I think they are. But the, the pages don't turn really well on this one. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the bigger rings. Although this is handling all of this quite well. Okay, I do like these future planning inserts. 
Um, I'll put them in here for now until I find something else that's personal wide because they're just a little too small. Okay, so let's see. I do love my Jane's Agenda dividers. Definitely want to have this picture of my husband and I. So you can see what I'm doing here. So I do like my Jane's Agenda. These are so beautiful. Oh, let's see, let's see. Don't know that I really need, I do want to put some pictures in there. Um, okay, so I did print, I have quite a few of these as well from Paper Test Designs that I printed out. And same with these note-taking um, sheets. So I'm going to put these in. So these note-taking sheets will go in here. Put them at the back. I like these for more structured notes. Like let's say I'm listening to a podcast on the go or because I do. I mainly listen to podcasts when I'm in my car um, or an audiobook. So then I have more of a structured or if I'm doing a Zoom call or, you know, like a phone call. And then these are just for brain dumping. Um, okay, so then my next one, so the list, I'm going to put that at the front, probably just here, I don't really want to cover that up though, I kind of like that being the cover page, maybe... I can put them here and this is just going to be a running task maybe right at the front uh, we'll see I may change that you guys I'm getting so excited okay I don't think there's anything else that I wanted to transfer over oh I've got another inbox okay so that would be that inbox is going to go with my projects and then this picture of hubby and I we're so cute uh, maybe that will go here right at the front set these aside for now I do want to have this also with the Tanya Plans binder, I ordered clear um, page lifters. I'm hoping they're a little, I should have asked first now that I'm thinking about it. I'm also gonna do this expense envelope for receipts. Um, I should have asked her if they are wider and not, because I got this from Dividers or Us and this is the Franklin Cubby compact size. And again, I don't like how it's narrow. All right. Yeah, it's so weird because these images printed, but then none of the other images printed. I, I don't know. Okay, I think that is good for now. And then we have these trigger lists. So for home life, finances, this is so cute. It's a boarding pass. So it's more for travel. So they're trigger list to help you remember things. So for example, like flights, lodging, transportation, packing list, bucket list, weekend getaway, road trips, etc. For finances, budget, reoccurring bills, debt, savings, buckets, taxes, investments, retirement. Um, this is from the um, getting things done method. So she got these ideas from various places and I thought this was a library card this is for self-care I just love these so much so I'm going to put these in here so 
for self-care. Self-care trigger list. We'll go here. Like reminders, right? To I've got all these paper clips that I'm getting in my Jane's Agenda subscription boxes. I think it's time I use them. There we go. And then finances. Her. Here we go. It's going to be this section here. Yep. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm just getting so excited. This is turning out to be so cute. And then home maintenance. Right here. And this one's for travel. I don't, I mean, I don't really travel. So where can I put this that it'll look cute? I printed these out from cloth, or cloth and paper. Oh gosh, Sterling ink. They're the sticky notes, but I just printed them on paper for having no paper on the go. I kind of like if this was here and then you could just see the boarding pass. I kind of like that. It's cute. These, probably put back here. And then it also comes with all sorts of other, um, just random, cards. I just thought this was so cool. I like the idea of these recipe cards for on the go. You know, if I'm on the go and I'm looking at like Pinterest or something and I see, you know, something I want to try and make. It's kind of a neat idea just to quickly jot them down there. So you've got, you can just use these for whatever you want, but I just love the vintage feel to them. So oh, neat. It's a library card. Date due, issued to. <laughs> so fun. I accidentally printed them on double side. And um, I'm going to put quite a few recipe cards in there. I always see things. It could be TikToks or Instagram Reels where I'm like, oh, that looks good. And then I forget about it. Um, and then I printed these on cardstock. So I thought... I could use these and they come in different colors so I do like this for like an ideal schedule to have that on hand so there's some cardboard or cardboard cardstock ones I'm just going to keep in here just for fun to write random things on but aren't these cool I just love them like, I'm obsessed, you guys. I'm obsessed with these cards. I still need to trim some of them a little bit. Oh, yeah, I'm really excited about all of this. It's going to make it not only more functional, but definitely more fun. And that is the name of the game. Maybe I'll put these back here. Oh, it's way too, way too bulky. Maybe I'll just put them back here. That's better. And then I had these from cloth and paper appointment pads. I'll put these back here too. Okay, check it out. This is the most full I've ever had a compact binder. I was a little bit worried because the pocket here I find sticks out a little and then I think I've only maybe had about half that and it, and it felt like, oh, I don't think I could fit more in here, but I could even fit more in. This is great. This is great. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, so I'll still do some 
decorating with the pockets, but here's how we look so far. I'll update you as, as I go and as I change things. So this is just going to be like a brain dump of tasks that need to get done. Okay. This is from Jane's Agenda, and you can, um, actually, this is a compact size, so never mind. I was going to say, you can order them on punch, but you don't need to if you're in a compact. I ordered personal wide for the Jane's Agenda. Um, so here we go. Here's my home maintenance, or my um, Grove residence, my table of contents. Here's my six different sections. And here we go, home life. Contacts. Login, passwords, emergency info, family notes, medical info, personal information, doctor's visits, appointment logs, family information, all about me. Love that trigger list so medication log health log doctor's visits reading logs and then maintenance so we've got a little trigger list there for finances so inbox this is going to be for projects I'm going to label this um, like project master project list or something like that and then some project inserts, home maintenance, tips, vehicle guide, vehicle, vehicle information. I saw guide there, so I said vehicle guide. Maintenance law or vehicle maintenance log, insurance information, inventory log, home maintenance log, online orders, my no spend tracker. A little bit nervous. I like to spend money, you guys. Especially on planner stuff. Ugh. Okay. Home base. Pantry. Cleaning. Lots on cleaning in the different areas of the house. Love that. And then this is my schedule. Gotta figure that out still. So we've got some SM plans week on one page, and then I have the uh, paper test designs week on two pages with the timed future log, future planning, note section. And this is just all note paper. Various note paper. I love it. I absolutely love this. I can see this is going to be great. It's gonna help me feel like I'm not missing things when I'm out and about and I'm really excited to put this to use. Yeah. Thank you for watching you guys. Let me know if you have any questions at all. I hope that was enjoyable for you and um, yeah stay tuned to see how I do with this binder and this home management system. So again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.